All right, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I have a number one question that's always asked all the time. What is the best shoe to walk on a roof? And the biggest thing is, is there is no best shoe. I know there's like shoes specifically designed to get on roofs, but I'm gonna go through all the shoes that I've worn and I'll talk about my favorites and why they're not the greatest and why they are the greatest. And then also the main reason why I'm creating the shoes, I was in the Facebook forums and an inspector said, Crocs are the number one shoe to walk on the roof. Something with their non-slip and the way they design. I'm actually kind of curious, but for safety reasons, I'm gonna make sure the, the four by four mode's on. <laughs> And then also I wanted to use flip flops too to show you that it doesn't matter the tool that you use, it's the user. So you can actually just walk on roofs with flip flops too as well. I wouldn't recommend a poorly installed roof or an aged roof, but the roof that we're going to today will probably easily be able to walk on the roof. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about each shoe and then we're gonna go and actually walk on a roof with these shoes. Let's start this video. Let's go check it out. So I'm gonna talk about first this shoe right here. You can obviously see it's a little bit dirty. Uh, this is the shoe that I use every day and this is a 511 kind of a high top model. I don't know the exact name brand of this shoe. Uh, it looks like it's called the, the Range Master. The reason why I like this shoe is it is waterproof and it has some nice treads here on the bottom and I don't slip around on the roof too much. Also on all my shoes too as well, the ones that I'm using in the field, I use these lock laces because I'm too lazy to tie my shoes and as an inspector, we uh, have to take our shoes off going inside the house a lot so they're easy to slide off and slide on and they stay tight on your, on your feet really easily. Disadvantages of this shoe, because it is waterproof, it actually causes your feet to sweat. It doesn't breathe, so you want to make sure that you carry foot powder, or if it's really, really hot outside, you're going to end up using a different shoe for that day, or depending on what's going on. But if it's wet outside, you can throw these on, and that's good. The next shoe that we have are actually these these Under Armour like gym style shoes. And you can actually see the tread's not like crazy good here. They're a little bit older. They have some use on them, but even though the treads are gone, I wanna show you that uh, the shoe is easily worn on the roof and sneakers are the preferred shoe for most home inspectors. They're lighter. Uh, they don't put a lot of stress on your body compared to this shoe right here where it's heavier. You're going up and down stairs a lot and it can wear you out. Uh, these ones are light, but you know, if you're walking outside and you hit that puddle, your feet are wet for the rest of the day. So uh, they hold up really well and you can kind of see I'm an Under Armour 511 fan. And uh, these ones I'd say are a little over a year old and you can kind of see that they've held up pretty well. The next ones are actually my favorite. These are the Under Armour like high top or no more of a boot shoe bow sets. They're called bow sets. Uh, my favorite shoe because they're really light uh, and they protect your ankles. We won't be wearing these today because um, the treads are practically gone on them and they're falling apart here, but they're old. I mean, I wore these for a little over a year and I mean, 400 roofs easily were underneath these shoe. Um, you can see in some of my older YouTube videos how I walked up steep planes with these with zero effort at all. And, uh, um, but they're not waterproof. So if you step in water, your feet will get a little bit wet, but I really like how they protected my ankle and then also uh, how easily, how light they are. I mean, I know, I know I said that several times, but they are really light and they're sturdy. So I will go back to these shoes as soon as these ones wear out and you can kind of see they're getting close. Uh, some of the treads and stuff are starting to wear out underneath them. But since I'm not on as many roofs these days, these, the shoes last a little bit longer. So, and now we're gonna move to the, I don't actually have much to say about Crocs. We're moving on to the Crocs, other than that they are the ugliest shoe I've ever seen on the face of the earth. Have you ever seen these on a foot? I mean, like, <laughs> they're, they're disgusting. There's something like but, that. but that's what they I was gonna say is like, I was, I was crawling on the, I put them on and I walked around the block in my neighborhood. And I'm like, these are like the ugliest, most comfortable shoe I've ever wore 
ever. And so if you wanted like a roof walking shoe and something to respect people's house inside, no one will probably complain about a croc. You know, if someone saw you wearing crocs, they look clean, they're light, you're not going to really scuff anything up. And, uh, and they're really comfortable. If you can get over the looks, you know, uh, we can wear this on the roof here in a little bit. But if I don't die on this roof, this is going to be the giveaway. You know, so if you like our channel, please hit that smash that like button and leave a comment saying something like you want the Crocs and we will ship you a pair of Crocs. So hopefully I don't die wearing these. And then also just to show you, these are just an Amazon basic regular $15 flip flops. These are my kind of go to shoe when I'm being lazy and I'm going to show you, you can walk on a roof with flip flops. Probably not the safest thing and not recommended. So disclaimer, don't walk on roofs with Crocs and uh, um, flip flops. All right. So uh, let's go walk on a roof. Hey everybody, it's that time of the week to pick the giveaway winner. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And don't forget to like and comment on the video so that you can enter this week's giveaway for the Crocs. So let's go ahead and see who won last week's giveaway. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see who the winner is. And the winner is Tim Luo. So please make sure to shoot us a message on Instagram or Facebook, and we'll go ahead and get the hat mailed out to you. Thank you, everybody, for entering this week's giveaway. And don't forget to like and comment the video so you can enter for the Crocs. All right, guys, let's move on to the next part of the video. Okay, so moving on to the second part of this video, we're gonna divide each shoe up into three different tests. The first test is how does it feel walking up the ladder? The next test is we're gonna walk parallel on the roof just to see how the roof, the shoe performs sideways and then walking straight up. Our, our roof today isn't like crazy, crazy steep, but it's a, we, we gotta work with what we got. So this is what we got today. So we're gonna show you how these shoes perform. Okay, so for the first test today, we're gonna do the uh, 511s uh, high top first. These are the shoes that I've been wearing right now. They have the, uh, the shoelace locks on them too as well. Let's get it started. So going up the, the ladder here, I've done this several times, but what I'm looking for is kind of like grip strength. So my feet aren't gonna slide around too much. And yeah, it's actually really nice. These, these shoes perform pretty solid when it comes to walking on the ladder. You do have a little bit of movement here, but it's it's not crazy unsafe. You know, I, I feel like I'm sticking to it pretty well. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna roll up my, my pants, but you can kind of see, I actually, I keep my shoes pretty loose around the ankles. So there's a lot of movement in there. You can tighten them up if you like, but I like these bands, you can tighten them up. I just don't like, like doing that. I kind of like them a little bit looser at the top and tight around the base. So my, my foot has angles. So you can see as I walk across the roof here, my ankles have opportunity to bend and my feet are flat on the roof. And this actually works out really, really well for me. Walk backwards off the roof, right? <laughs> so parallel walking, my feet don't slide inside the shoe at all. It sticks. This is a brand new roof, it looks like. So, you know, most shoes are probably going to stick to this. So a vertical test with the 511s. I mean, I know how they're going to perform. These are my everyday shoe right now and they're perfectly fine. You can kind of see, I feel a little bit of movement in my heel right here. That's probably because I keep the, the top open so much, but yeah, I love these shoes. I've, I don't slip at all on this and you know I'm even taking long strides here. So this is a this is a, a really good shoe. I, I like these ones a lot. The only thing is, like I said before, your feet get really hot in them. All right, so moving on to the ladder test. I'm actually kind of excited. We found some shoelaces in the closet and uh, we're gonna use the 511 boots. As I was putting them on, I forgot how soft and cushiony these are. I mean like, and my feet, I could feel, a, I could feel them breathing. <laughs> Yeah, they, I guess they've been locked up in those 511 uh, waterproof shoes so much. So I know I said I'm kind of cheap, 
but I think I'm going to probably go on Amazon and purchase these right afterwards. Uh, I don't know if I talked about the treads too much. I did a little bit, but these are my favorite treads because they really do have like that non-slip style tread on them. Let's uh, do the ladder test right here. So going up the ladder, going up, you know, I still have that slipping motion, mainly because these treads are almost gone, uh, but it sticks about the same as the same as the 511 Tactical. They do feel a lot lighter and I, I can actually feel my feet breathing. <laughs> which is cool. So getting up, swing over and yeah, nice easy transition onto the roof. Uh, parallel, you know, these have more ankle support on them. It does feel pretty tight around here on the base of the, on the side of the shoe, but it actually performs. I know they perform good. I've walked on them. So even with the treads over half gone here, you can see I'm walking perfectly fine. Uh, my feet are not sliding around at all inside the shoe. I tied them pretty tight around the base, a little looser at the top of the shoe, and you can see uh, walking sideways on the roof. Um, there's plenty, my feet are flat on the roof, which is nice. So uh, really good, another really great shoe to be walking on roofs with. All right, so let's uh, do the vertical test up and down, walking up, uh, brand new roof. I'm not sliding around at all, pretty decent strides. Coming down, let's do it fairly quick. You can see the, the shoe sticks pretty solid onto the roof. So uh, these are these are solid shoes. You like to walk like this sometimes too. You don't want to cross like this really, but coming up and down. Yeah, it's a good shoe. Uh, no complaints with these. Uh, the advantage here compared to the other ones, like I said before, is I can actually feel my feet breathing. The other ones, because they're waterproof, it's like a hot box inside you, inside those shoes. So uh, I think I'm gonna pull these out for my stucco days because uh, my, <laughs> my feet don't feel hot. All right, so next shoe, we have the Under Armour, like workout shoe, tennis shoe. Treads are kind of half gone on these ones too as well. Uh, favorite shoe, mainly inside, but every now and then if I'm feeling them, I'll put these ones on, they're not bad. Mainly my gym shoe. But actually most of my inspectors, they all wear tennis shoes on their on the roof. So I'm more of a boot fan, but just showing you that you can wear all kinds of shoes on the roofs and it not really that matter that much. So let's uh, do the ladder test, you know, walking up. Uh, these definitely slide a lot more, mainly because the treads are gone, but I'm, I'm sticking enough. It sticks pretty good and I, and I feel, I feel safe walking on the ladder, so that's good. Yeah, transition on the roof, fine. I am sliding a little bit though on, on the roof here. All right, starting with the uh, parallel test, walking side to side. I have my shoes raised, my pants raised so you can see it, uh, see the shoe a little bit better. You know, obviously you can bend a lot easier without boots, but I do feel my feet sliding in the shoe. If you can actually see my the foot isn't even over the uh, sole as much. You, it's actually sitting out, I'd say a quarter of an inch off of the sole. Uh, and, my, and I do feel myself sliding on this roof a little bit. Not a terrible amount. I could still easily inspect this roof and be perfectly fine. So uh, let's do the climb too as well. We can shoot that at the same time. So here we go, the climb of the roof. You can actually hear it. You can hear how I'm sliding on the roof and I'm, yeah, of course I'm gonna twist, but compared to the other roof, we're coming down. Walking up, I do feel a slight slide back, but I can make the gain easily. And it's light, my foot's breathing, no problems there. I still feel safe on the roof, but if you're looking to stick 100%, uh, these, these shoes aren't gonna do it. But you still can easily walk and inspect on the roof just fine with this. Okay, so we got the Crocs. And honestly, I'm, I'm feeling a little iffy on this uh, because I, just sitting like this, I really feel my feet moving around. We did decide to do one without a sock and one with the sock. I don't know why you're gonna take socks off, but I really don't know how Crocs are supposed to be made. But look how ugly these things are. They're, <laughs> they're the ugliest shoe I have ever seen. Maybe you need another color. <laughs> <laughs> color. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. So. Let's uh, do the ladder test, see how it feels on the ladder. Well, it actually, 
it sticks better than any other other shoes i'm not moving at all when i'm twisting here i didn't even it picked up what some of the dirt yeah but yeah it's it's fine there so let's uh transition onto the roof uh i'm slipping around a little the non-sock shoe is but uh let's let's get to the next test all right because of how hot it is this foot's actually sweaty a little bit and it's moving in the shoe but when we're talking about comparatively speaking this shoe sticks i'd say it even sticks more than the boots let's see look i even do a little hop here you know i'm not moving at all you can even see i'm putting stress on the shoe here they're not moving they're not moving at all but what actually makes me a little nervous is my feet are sliding around in there a little bit so if you're not flat on the roof but man these are sticking we're doing parallel right so parallel sticking yeah i definitely recommend wearing socks with them though because this foot right here isn't moving at all this foot is is sliding in the shoe but I actually kind of have to agree with these inspectors. I wouldn't say hands down the best shoe to be on a roof with because of how loose they fit, <laughs> how loose they fit on your feet, but they stick. They stick really, really, really well. All right, let's do the climb. It's getting hot. We got one more pair after this. All right, so here we go. The climb, say you're climbing the roof. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, these, these are actually working really, really well. If you had a pair of socks on both pairs of shoes here, I mean, you're not moving. Those inspectors might be right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do the valley too, because that's probably why people are here. So sometimes you walk like this. Oh, uh, these are pretty safe. You got the four by four mode on, they're catching. I'm actually gonna give the croc a, a thumbs up. They're they're sticking on the roof just fine. I'm all about, you know, yeah, and even with the socks now that they're heated up, I guess, a little bit, they're they're not moving on my feet at all. But this one is. But yeah, that's a it's a good shoe. Alright, let's finish off with the flip-flops and give my final review. Alright, we're not gonna run the flip-flops through the whole test. I'm mainly showing you this that people overthink walking on a roof too much so here we go you can see easily i do not approve of doing this on a job being a flip-flop home inspector but you can see you can easily transition onto a roof and let's let's walk it too and you can walk it yeah so this is an amazon 15 dollars flip-flop and people freak out all the time about what shoe to wear and whatnot. And you can see on this pitch of roof, you can see my feet are sliding and stuff, but not that I want to step on this hot roof with my bare feet. You can, you can walk on it. And actually the funny thing is over that Amazon um, base, not Amazon, the Under Armour workout shoe, these are actually sticking even better. Must be the material it's made out of or something, but yeah, you can inspect, inspect with flip-flops if you want to, but I don't approve of it. But I just want to let you guys know, don't get too worked up on wearing shoes on roofs because you can wear flip-flops. Okay, so we're going to wrap up the video right there. Um, if you like any of these shoes, please go to our tool list and uh, purchase them from the tool list. The price actually doesn't change at all. It just gives us a little bit of kickback from the Amazon affiliate. And then also uh, please smash that like and subscribe button and that little bell. And if you do that, you can catch every video that we produce and we produce one video a week about home inspections and looking at homes for purchase. All right, thanks guys, take it easy. Catch us on the next one.